can reuse it. That's the difference with a briquette. When, once you light a briquette, it's gone. What's neat about this place is there's lots and lots of teams out here. Michelis has a team. Our show sponsor has a team, Pat. That's right. And uh, Nathan Trailer joins us. Trailer? Yeah, you got it right. I get it? Look at you. Yes, sir. How are you guys doing? We're doing well. All right. So where's your booth at? Uh, We're at number 35. We're we're towards the back. Big green tent. Towards the back. Yeah, but it's okay. We've got a big green tent. It's fantastic. Wait, are you the one uh, right at the end of the... Along Keystone. So you got the whole hee-haw gang here. Yep. Now, you yep. guys are doing the poppers again this year? Yep, the jalapeno poppers with bacon. They got some heat to them. Yep. You don't want to touch your lips to them. You want to just slam them right past your lips and start chewing. Exactly. Yeah, I rinsed them out yesterday. They were pretty terrible. <laughs> Mr. Sullivan. Sorry, I was uh, Dave Wilson stuck in traffic. I was concerned. Everybody's <laughs> stuck RMs. in traffic. My God, the traffic it's is It's just crazy. And it's not supposed to be like that. But if you're coming up the east side on 465, you can't get off on any of the normal exits, 56, none of them. You have to go all the way north up to Benford, and then you try to come down Benford and cut over. It's, it's a mess. Matter of fact, here. quite honestly, if you're coming to uh, Egg Fest today, I would recommend the red line. <laughs> well, just get on the red line and... Then it, you'll, you'll have to walk a few miles after you get off. I will off, get back to Nathan. Nathan, what Nathan, do you, what do you yeah, normally hey, do with Michelis? Uh, well, I'm one of the uh, Basement Foundation waterproofing guys. So do you hang out with basement. Del Phillips? I do. You know, Del's a uh, character. Is he your you boss? No, he, th- sometimes he wants he, to be. He wants to be, but he's so busy he can't. It's like, yeah. do you have your own professional knee pads that you wear all the time? Uh, yes. And you skin them around the back of your calves when you're not using them? Is exactly. That, that, yeah. Exactly. He's a cool kid. He's a cool kid. It's like the guys that work the ramp at the airport that load baggage. They use those those knee pads all the time, and then when they're yeah. done, they, they skin them around the back, and they walk around cool. We actually have a couple uh, guys from the airline here today, actually. Really? The Bradleys, yeah. One works, uh, son, Michael works for uh, Southwest, and Dave works for Delta. There they are, right there. The Bradleys. Yeah, he can show you his knee pads. Show us your knee pads. He He's pointing them. to his butt. He loves that. They, they <laughs> love that job. Do they really? Yeah. Sometimes uh, if I'm flying southwest, which I do, they'll look out and I'll see Michael loading my plane. You know, I've got some 400 hours on he my gyroplane. He always opens my suitcase, actually. i got 400 hours on my gyroplane. I'm actually going to take fifth I had no underwear when I got to Florida. You took a man's <laughs> underwear? That's just me. I'm sorry. What were you saying, Denny? I said, you know, i got 400 hours flying the gyroplane. I'm going to take fixed wing flying lessons this week. I'm going to go up and try to fly, a fl- a fly an airplane. Exciting. Exciting. You scare me. Let's get back to Nathan. Yeah, All right. come on, guys. Come on. Uh, I mean, the guys right, so in the base. What are you making again? What? Jalapeno, Jalapeno poppers. poppers with bacon. All right, with bacon. Yep. With bacon inside. Yes. You know what? Let me tell you something, son. Okay. I know you're young. Anytime you're doing something like that, you start with bacon. So basically what you're saying is, when I say, what okay. are you doing? You say... We're doing bacon. Bacon, bacon, and, bacon then, and brown uh, sugar. There's a jalapeno <laughs> in it as well. Yeah. All right, so yesterday, they're in here. How long were you guys here yesterday? Uh, about two, three hours. So they were in uh, cleaning. So you know what it's like cleaning? How many jalapenos? Oh, my, oh God. my gosh. I hope, you're, like wearing, six boxes. I hope you're wearing gloves. Oh, we were. I, we had to take shifts because it was just burning our eyes. And so they were, uh, I mean, it. you walk in, it's like, it just hits just you. Just walking by, it hits you. Yeah. I mean, so they have to they clean them all out, and then they have to, to rinse them through and stuff, because that's the key, right? To, yeah, get the seeds out. You leave those seeds in, it can be, gonna be deadly. Uh, yeah, you're going to be screaming. You know, one year. Grenades. One year. Yeah, where they had, explode uh, is not very grenades. pleasant. Yeah. They are. <laughs> one year we had somebody that left them in. Uh-oh. And um, I'll never forget it, because Big Joe, Big Joe Stasniak, loves the hot stuff. He goes, oh, I love them. It ruined his day. <laughs> you know how jalapenos can vary in, yeah. in heat. Mm-hmm. Well, these happen to be really hot, and they left the seeds in them, and it was painful. Oh. I mean, I saw. Matter of fact, we stopped serving them. It's like we can't do this because the, even if you warn people, hey, these are really. I love hot stuff. Yeah, and they just throw them back. Yeah, and then they're down on their knees crying. We we cored them out, so there may be a few straggling That's seeds, right. but yeah, that's what makes it exciting. All right, so how long do you cook them on the grill? Uh, probably about four minutes on each side, so we'll just turn them, and then we'll put them out and serve them. So, How so many jalapenos cheesy. have you got, son? I don't know. There's six boxes, and I just know that for two and a half, three hours, I rinsed jalapenos. All right, uh, Nathan, let me, let me, Nathan Trailer from the Michelis Corporation joins us on the program. Uh, let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. 
Do you ever want to see a jalapeno popper again? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's the truth. I got kind of roped in this from Bart. He was like, hey, this will be great. And I was like, no, let's do this. And little, little did I know. <laughs> He's been scarred for life. <laughs> I should just show up on this day, not prep day. Yeah. All right, so what are the, some of the things you see from uh, your customers when you go out on a, on, a, on a job site and they don't really need your services? What are some of those little things that homeowners should be doing so that uh, you know they can prevent you guys from having to be out there. Yeah, we've had a lot recently with just the, how dry it's been, and then we've had all this rain, and people have had these random rogue leaks that they've never had because the ground's been so dry that it just opens up these capillaries. The big thing is just extend the downspouts. It's just an easy, easy preventative maintenance that you can do just to get that water away. So whenever we do get those flash floods, you you don't get that backup, that just that overloading in your system. So, so the uh, hot, dry weather. Just kind of open, dries, kind of shrunk, kind dries of all the up clay up. Yep, and then never it rains. It just it's got a clear shot right down to your basement or crawl space. And there's people have oh I've lived here twenty thirty years, never had an issue. Now they've got you know water in their their basement. They've got a smell musty smell in their crawl space. You should ask there. him, have you been going to church? You know, you right. know yeah. This there's some issues here. You know, <laughs> what are you, are you paying your taxes? A little, little judgment there. Yeah. All of a sudden, things come into the basement. Michelis is a no judgment zone. We are. We just say, hey, this is what's broken. But that's what's great too about Michelis. I remember uh, years ago, one of the new new services. They they did exactly that. They disconnected a um, downspout. Yep. Called a bunch of companies, and uh, I would say it was probably half. The people recommend it into your drain system. Right. When all the only thing that the problem was was the downspout was disconnected, yep. and that's what you get with from Michelle. You get yep. a straight shot. Yep. And you know that that secondary backup. If you need the interior drain, we can do that too. If it's something that you just want that peace of mind, just to make sure it doesn't happen again. But those easy preventative maintenance, make sure the mulch beds aren't just ramped up against the house. You've got a clear shot for water to go. You're just trying to control and redirect the water. We always say the uh, the world famous uh, landscaping uh, that people do sometimes can really change the grade. And, oh yeah, and uh, cause a few problems I that that, see that it weren't all the time. there. Yep. I bet you do. All right, Nathan. Now listen. Uh, how soon will you be getting some uh, of those poppers when, off? When do you want one? Like right now. Well, uh, give me ten minutes. You're a demanding sort. <laughs> We're at his property. He's our guest. Sorry. He's a okay. show sponsor, and, and you're barking out orders like you're a field marshal. <laughs> hey, Nathan, if you think about it and you have a jalapeno popper, could you bring it this way? I will do. Can nice. I hear I'll a please? I'll be glad to pay for hey, it. Hey, how about please? Please. say please. He did. Kind of. Kind you of think there. Denny's shirt looks like a tablecloth? It's, um, it's okay. You know, more like a napkin. Like a high-end napkin. <laughs> you, go get to pop. Right. <laughs> there it is. There right. it is. You're hosting the third hour. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Hey, thanks very much, Nathan Appreciate Trailer it. from the Michelis Corporation. Just one of many great uh, people from the Michelis uh, Corporation. The number 844-FIX-INDY. That's 844-FIX-INDY. The Michelis Corporation. Construct, renovate, restore.